If you're stopped by the police for cannabis and you don't want to walk right into your own conviction, SoCal attorneys Mark and Craig Wasserman of the firm Pop Brothers at Law have four easy lines for you to use. Welcome to Marijuana Morning News, I'm Brooke Burks Dollar. And just a heads up, you may want to save this video so you can study the script, alright? Here are the four things to say to a police officer as recommended by cannabis attorneys after you've been pulled over. Number one, why did you pull me over? Under case law, cops have to complete their traffic stops within a reasonable amount of time. Your objective here is to get the clock ticking and move your conversation with the police officer along as quickly as possible. Comply with requests for your ID, insurance, and registration, but avoid any casual conversation. Number two, I'm not discussing my day. With this line, you're invoking your right to remain silent and ideally not incriminate yourself. Be polite, calm, and respectful, but if you're asked if you've been drinking or smoking weed, do not say, I only had two beers or I only had one puff a few hours ago. Instead, throw them the old, I'm not discussing my day, and then it will be up to the officer to decide whether or not you seem impaired enough to take things further. Number three, am I being detained or am I free to go? Listen, you're really just trying to avoid conversation with the police officer so that you do not accidentally walk into a crime. So get to the point already. After asking this question, if you've committed a traffic offense, you might get a ticket, but then you're done. And if you seem under the influence, you may get taken to the station. But if neither of those applies and a cop has pulled you over based on a hunch that something is up, you'll likely be let go. And number four, I invoke the fifth. So you weren't let go and you're being detained. No, it's not ideal, but here's where I invoke the fifth comes in to protect your right to remain silent. Interestingly, you have to verbally assert your desire to remain silent. You can't just go mute, but once you've said it politely, it is now seriously time to be quiet. This script is not a fail-proof way to prevent an arrest, but it does serve to preserve your constitutional and civil rights anywhere in the US and even in some foreign countries. Obviously, we are not endorsing driving under the influence of anything, but if you should ever happen to find yourself in a pulled over pickle, it's good to know what options are available to you. Tell us your thoughts about these four powerful lines in the comments, and thanks for watching Marijuana Morning News. I'm Brooke Bergstuller, follow us at Advanced Nutrients Official, and I love you.